this is the liver see here very typical eco texture so for liver what you need to do is push down about a centimeter or two till you go to the you know this triangular edge of the left lobe this is the triangular edge of the left lobe and then start withdrawing slowly once you withdraw slowly you will see hepatic veins portal vein and biliary radicals so look for a nice long vessel bisecting the left lobe this long vein freeze so this is the left hepatic vein and these are the portal venous radicals chodo <coughs> are there any intrahepatic biliary radical dilatation i am not seeing major biliary radical dilatation but, but we can use doppler doppler please okay some minor yes there is biliary radical dilatation you can see that the biliary radicals are dilated so once you see the left hepatic vein you have to differentiate between segment 3 and segment 2 freeze so this radical is a segment 3 radical this radical is a segment 2 radical the left portal uh, the left hepatic vein divides segment 2 from segment 3 and this smiling sign you know these two eyes and this person here tells you so uh, practically segment 2 is closer to the g junction while segment 3 is a little far away when we want to do therapy i prefer a segment 3 uh, puncture like here so freeze so you should assess this is your mark so the needle will come out from here it's a 19 gauge needle so it doesn't bend too much so you have to assess what will be the direction in which the puncture will go if i need a deeper puncture i use a olympus needle I, if i need a superficial puncture i need a cook needle no studies to show which is better so but these are my preferences i am telling you look at the liver carefully for any metast yeah with the us everything is with the us so i showed you the g junction i showed you the uh, fundus you can practically pick up everything only if you have a cirrhotic patient with portal hypertension i'll put a gastroscope first because if there are large varices i don't want to puncture them so this is the left and then look at the portal vein versus hepatic vein the portal vein has a thicker wall compared to the hepatic veins once you see that turn clockwise turn clockwise and you will see the ligamentum teres the white ligamentum teres turn more medially now you see you are seeing doppler see the intrahepatic biliary radicals are dilated as we are going closer to the hilum so you saw the ligamentum teres then we turn clockwise and we draw half a centimeter see this i am tracing this and then i try to turn clockwise more to see the liver hilum so this is the liver hilum see this please so we already know this is the portal vein this is the hugely dilated bile duct 16 mm chodo examine the hilum very well see that there are no lymph nodes freeze so if you see here now you are seeing the liver hilum this is the chd this is the gall bladder and this is caudate lobe segment 1 you can also see segment 4 somewhere here near the gall bladder and segment 5 all these things can be seen from the stomach some segments you will see from the duodenum so once you have seen this you are clear that this patient has biliary obstruction there is no doubt about it i try to bring the portal vein in a horizontal 6 o'clock direction freeze and you see this this is the hepatic artery <coughs> all three are here 
छोड़ो नाउ आई एम टर्निंग गोइंग जेंटली इन एंड टर्निंग क्लॉक वाइज एंड यू आर सींग देड ऑफ द पैनक्रियास विद द पैनक्रेटिक डक्ट सी दैट प्लीज सो दिस इज द पैनक्रेटिक डक्ट इन द नेक दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द एस एम वी सो थ्री पॉइंट सेवन नॉट मैसिवली डायलेटेड छोड़ो now i am trying to trace the bile duct see this this is the bile duct this is the head of the pancreas see this above is the smv freeze so this is the smv this is the neck of the pancreas this is the head of the pancreas all this area chodo see that tracing it gently by going millimeter by millimeter both the ducts are now parallel to each other see that so we have traced almost till the papilla and the duct is still dilated so that means we are dealing with something in the ampullary subampullary lesion a region either it's a cholangiocarcinoma or the see here freeze so we are dealing with a lesion which is here this is the tumor below what you are seeing is the ivc inferior vena cava chodo so once we have made this pd is prominent in the head but cbd is massively dilated yeah how do you know where is the duodenum you see those air air channels freeze see this is the duodenum here so we are reaching almost at the duodenum and here i faintly see a lesion then quickly we do go back trace the pancreatic duct so this is the pancreatic duct let it cross the superior mesenteric vein into the neck see this this is into the neck and we evaluate the rest of the pancreas to see that it is okay this is the splenic vein we are tracing the splenic vessels keep it at 6 o'clock always so that you have a good control over the movement sometimes over the spine the scope slips back you can see the left kidney underneath turn back keep slowly withdrawing and clockwise turn see here so this is the tail of the pancreas looks okay this is the spleen and you see the splenic vessels see the tail nicely seen tail here and the splenic hilum so we have made a diagnosis of a distal cholangiocarcinoma or an ampullary ca from the stomach endoscope actually i could have done through without endoscopy but it's okay we will yeah this pancreas to me looks pretty normal there are some dots and strands which are normal at this age he is 73 so i would say the pancreas looks uh, pretty normal now i am in the bulb chodo dikhao so you see this is the freeze cbd cystic duct you can see the gb here massively dilated by duct we trace it so if you want to trace it towards the papilla turn clockwise so i'm turning clockwise now the pancreatic duct has also come underneath see this they are coming close together so this is probably an ampullary small ampullary lesion huh? because see here why i am saying this is freeze this is the muscle layer of the duodenum you see this and the cbd is still dilated so this is the intra duodenal dilated cbd so actually this patient could be a good candidate for ampullectomy he is 73 now that is the tumor so small tumor see here this is the tumor please so it's in the terminal part of the bile duct you are seeing this tumor it's hardly probably 
11 millimeters. Very small tumor, uh, eminently resectable by surgery or by endoscopy also, I believe. Okay. Any questions on this? Any suggestions? Yeah. Yes. You are right. So this is the intraduodenal portion of the bile uh, of the bile duct. See, this is the intraduodenal portion which we are seeing. It is not gone outside the muscularis propria of the duodenum. And the you see here the PD is not so dilated. Freeze. It's 3.1. So, um, the thing is probably it's an entirely bile duct lesion, cholangio or an Of course, I'll show you that. Endoscope. I have not seen it endoscopically also. So let us see how it, how it looks endoscopically. Always a good see. Dilated by intraduodenal segment. There is a lesion here, you can see. It's a CA. There is no question about it. So you shorten it. You see the spine and the IVC. See this? This is the spine and the IVC. Once you shorten the scope, I turn a little more clockwise here. You see the aorta. Keep it at 6 o'clock. Withdraw a little. About a centimeter or two till the duodenal folds get over, then give an extreme clockwise torque. You are seeing the bile duct. At this moment, you can withdraw millimeter by millimeter. And you see the pancreatic duct and the bile duct, both coming here. See this? Both the bile duct and pancreatic duct. Now we put water. Pani dalo yaar. Thoda bada bhi kar do. See that, that is the lesion. See that? Bada kar do. I do not, it is in the CBD, but it is not crossing the muscularis. See, it is just in the intraduodenal portion of the CBD. See that? See that? Beautifully, it is seen. It is in the intraduodenal part of the, it is arising from the CBD, I believe. See this. See, a large part of the normal CBD is into the duodenum. See that. This is the intraduodenal segment looking pretty good. You, if you ask me what I want to do, I would prob probably prefer an ampullectomy in this patient. He is 74, small lesion, 11, 11 millimeters, and he will go for whipples otherwise. <coughs> Rest is all sludge. See, this is the duodenal wall. You see, that is the lesion. See that when the contractions, uh, see that. That is the lesion. See that? Here. See this. See. See that? That is the lesion inside the terminal part of the bile duct. But the surface is also ulcerated of the ampulla. Probably it has still not involved the pancreatic duct origin. Because PD is not dilated. Now the question is, should we do anything or should we just, I have been referred this patient to place a short self-expandable metal stent for Whipple's. I was thinking that it will be a bigger lesion and probably we should do a, a um, rendezvous but you tell me, what is the house's opinion? I can do, show you a rendezvous here.